Hey, it's fall. Fall's here. Summer's over. <laughs> I'm gonna go check the mail. Okay, so I got some questions uh, sent to me the other day. Wow, yeah. Okay, look at my view. Life on the hill, it's fantastic. Well, sometimes it's not, <laughs> especially in the winter time. My own laneway is the old native portage, which is really ironic. Every time I go to check the mail, I <laughs> consider myself portaging. Anyway, yeah, it's kind of weird that I bought a place on the hill where, on the old First Nations portage. So, it's fall. So I got some questions, a lot of questions about, hey, um, Kevin, do you know why leaves change color in the fall? I do. Actually, I do. I actually teach that. I teach part-time at the college. I teach uh, dual credits. Like students uh, at risk in high school aren't doing well in high school, so I take them to college and I teach them a bunch of things. But one is what's happening in the fall. This is our warm-up. So if you think about it, um, there's two general types of trees. Deciduous, carnivorous. Carnivorous, cone-bearing, like a spruce, Christmas tree, balsam, whatever. Deciduous are leaf-bearing. Uh, there is one that messes everything up called the larch, tamarack, whatever, but that's another video. I always say that, that's another video. It's a good thing, because there's always another video. Yeah, so what happens uh, for these deciduous leaves right now is that they know winter's coming. A deciduous tree cannot survive the winter. It has to go dormant. Like many things, go dormant. I go dormant in the winter. No, I do not. I go winter camping and things like that. But a lot of people do go dormant in the winter time. Oh yeah, the one question that I uh, I get a lot is, uh, well, what happens when you have to go to the bathroom? Well, you go. <laughs> and uh, it's not that bad. You get your snowshoes on, go off in the woods, find a spot, uh, and uh, hopefully it happens quickly. Yeah, what, what happens to the deciduous trees is that they, they know winter's coming because shorter days, colder nights, and it triggers a response. Come on. As you can tell, the uh, spurs are high. Because we're going out. We missed the bus. I want to follow them. It's really not even that cold. And even if it wasn't, we wouldn't even. No one care. During the summer, the trees, the deciduous trees, like behind me, are green. So the old um, high school biology class, it's that they go through photosynthesis to create chlorophyll, to create energy, sugar, starch, whatever, to allow the tree to grow. But then what happens is that that, that creates a fluid going up and down the tree, which is sap. In a deciduous tree, I'm just going to check my mail, in a deciduous tree, 80 to 83%, I think, of that sap is water. Oops, sorry, dropped my keys. And uh, when it gets cold out, you tell me what happens when water freezes. Do, 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 do. You're right, it expands. When water expands, oh, I got, I got mail. Sorry, I got mail. Oh, I hope it's a check. No, I hope it's a check. No. No, no. All right, wait a minute. No, 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 nothing. Just junk mail. So the water inside the trunk of the tree, if it freezes, will expand. If it expands, the tree will crack. A bunch of seams uh, will crack, creating an area for disease and things like that. 
So yeah, that can't happen. So the tree goes, oh, no, I gotta do something for the winter. I have to go dormant to protect myself. So it brings the, the water sap down to the roots cellar. So it goes down to the roots. Why doesn't it freeze in the roots? Well, it's because the root cellar, it's a constant temperature. So it's cold, but not freezing cold. So it's, it's fine in the roots. So you got all the fluids down in the roots system. Well, not all the fluids, but the majority of it. So therefore you can't freeze. And uh, then the, the tree goes dormant. That's a deciduous tree, remember. It's not a carnivorous tree, cone bearing. It's not a spruce tree, it's not your Christmas tree. We still need oxygen, right? So. Uh, uh, in fact, the further north you go, the more carnivorous trees you get than deciduous because, well, it's a longer winter, shorter days, right? So those trees, they have this gooey, gappy, gooey, gappy, gooey sap that actually has less water. It's just, if you ever push a uh, blister on a, a balsam, you would know that. It's just like this gooey stuff. And that stays in the trunk and the, the, the needles are all year throughout the winter, throughout the summer. Again, it's up tamarack and larch or whatever, and that messes things up, but we'll, that's another video. So what happens uh, is that that can't freeze because it's too gooey, except when it gets really cold. If you're camping, winter camping, and you hear the, the, the carnivorous trees crack, oh man, it's cold. What's going on? I'm just eating chocolate in bed. That's a nice outfit you have on. Thank you. It's my winter camping bedtime outfit. <laughs> and what did you just say to me just before I put the camera on? I asked you if you thought I was sexy. Because <laughs> that means that resin is freezing inside the trunk. It's got to be 30 to 40 degrees uh, below uh, Celsius. Okay. So yeah, that's what basically happens. Carnivorous trees, deciduous trees, deciduous trees lose their, their leaves to go dormant. Oh, speaking of dormant, oh my. Okay, there's a skunk. He's been hanging around. Hope my dog doesn't find him. Oh man. Okay, so skunks don't go, they, they're not true hi, uh, hibernators. They actually go dormant. And that's, again, another video. He's feasting right now to get enough fat for the winter. Oh. He's going through everybody's garbage tonight. It's not even garbage night. Oh, that stinks. Okay, life on the hill, deciduous, carnivorous, skunks, stinking the place up. Have a good night. And I got uh, no checks, just bills. I maybe should go dormant this winter as well. No, I gotta work. Oh, well, all right, that's it. Thanks for coming out.